Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 52 and in this lecture we will cover a program example of external hardware interrupts which we have learned in the last lecture. So we will see an assembly language program of this uh, external hardware interrupts. So let's start our lecture. Okay, so we have given with this statement, let's read this statement, two different proximity sensors S1 and S2. So two proximity sensors are used S1 and S2 and are connected with RB0 and RB1. Remember RB0 and RB1 are the two pins of microcontroller which are used in external hardware as interrupt zero and interrupt one pin, right? So these, are these sensors are basically attached with interrupt zero and interrupt one. Okay, if sensors produces low to high transitions, that means they will go from uh, low to high transitions, right? That means it, it, it will detect, if it detects something, it will be low and it will become one. So that means a low to high transition will be produced. So this is what will happen if sensor attached to the microcontroller senses something, though it will it will produce high transition or low to high transition. So what will happen? Turn on the LEDs connected with RC1 and RC2. So two different LEDs, LED1 and LED2 are attached with RC0 and RC1. Okay, uh, I think there is a mistake. Let me correct it. Uh, this is basically RC1 and this is RC2. So I have already corrected now. So RC1 is attached with LED1, RC2 is attached with LED2. So these two pins will be used as an output pin. And if S1 detects something, so LED1 should be grown and S2 detects something, LED2 should be grown. And we will perform this task using external hardware interrupts. So let's write the code. Okay, I have again uh, written the code in three different parts, but it is just one code. So, uh, you should not consider these are different codes. These are actually uh, one code, which uh, which I have split it into three different parts. For example, this is what? This is our vector table, or this is the main code, and this is the service routines. So let's read the code and run it. So go to 00 hacks, sorry, originate 00 hacks. Uh, here we write, go to main. So uh, whenever microcontroller will start, it will uh, start at the address 00 hacks, and uh, it will find instruction go to main so it will look for this label it is found in our main code so main we will jump to this area and then originate to a it is like our main task which we normally write without intra programming vcf to c comma one and vcf to c comma two these two instructions are used to define these two pins as output pins we have already seen this earlier okay uh, okay one thing that i need to correct okay so uh, what is the next thing we, do? we are doing? VSF interrupt control interrupt zero IE. We are enabling individual enable of individual uh, in, enable bit of interrupt zero. Remember, you have to enable each interrupt individually as we as well. So interrupt zero IE, which is in, enable bit of interrupt zero, we are enabling it. It is found in interrupt control register and other interrupt we are using interrupt one. So we are also enabling interrupt one in enable bit and it is found in interrupt control three, right? So these two lines are just to enable the individual enable bits of interrupt zero and interrupt one respectively. The next line is enabling the overall globally interrupts. So we are uh, setting one uh, GIE, uh, global interrupt enable equal to one, right? And then we don't have anything to perform in the main task. Remember in this uh, example, what we are doing we have two sensors, S1 is connected to RB0 and S2 is connected to RB1. So whenever S1 sends are any low to high transition, so LED1 should be glown. And whenever S2 sends low to high transition to RB1, then LED2 should be glown. But uh, microcontroller won't have any other task to perform. So what I'm doing in main program, branch again and again is defined here. So we will be continuously jumping on this instruction. So microcontroller won't be doing anything. This is not something uh, which is done usually because definitely in certain application microcontroller must have something to perform something. Otherwise you can just uh, keep it uh, on, uh, on one instruction. So it will be live for uh, indefinite time interval, right? So let's say if someone presses uh, RB0 or if uh, someone uh, is sen sen sensor wants uh, senses someone on uh, in the proximity of sensor one. 
so what it will do it will produce low to high transition and rb0 will receive a low to high transition rb0 is nothing but simple interrupt zero that means microcontroller will receive an interrupt so what is going to happen microcontroller will actually uh, do what M microcontroller will be uh, switching uh, back to the uh, interrupt vector table so what it will do it will actually uh, disable gie so that it won't receive any other interrupt then it will come back to this uh, here uh, be uh, uh, in uh, originate 08 hacks right which is the interrupt vector table address then what it will do it will test with test file skip f clear interrupt control comma int 0 if so we are testing whether interrupt 0 if has received one or not right so we are testing if it is one we will actually uh, this condition will become false and we will execute this but if it is uh, not one so this condition will become true and we will jump to the next uh, check so we are checking two different interrupts interrupt 0 and interrupt 1 so since i said consider s1 senses someone and sends low to high transition that means this condition will become false because int 0 if will be equal to 1 because we are receiving 0 to 1 transition or low to high transition or positive age trigger on interrupt 0 that means interrupt 0 flag would be 1 so which, which means this condition would be false so what will happen we will execute the next line which means go to isr interrupt 0 so now we will switch to this part which is a third part service routines part so here we will look for this label isr interrupt 0 here we have two different routines defined isr interrupt 0 or isr interrupt 1 so interrupt service routine for interrupt 0 and interrupt service routine interrupt one right so uh, these are just two different interrupt serv service routines but microcontroller will switch to here uh, and what is happening in this con in this specific uh, interrupt service routine vsf 4 c comma one that means we will glow the led one right uh, which is supposed to happen in if sensor sense uh, senses something if sensor one senses something right and then we are returning back to the main program and what we are using here red fire return from interrupt enable that means we will not only return to the main uh, main program but also dis we, we will also enable gie bit which means uh, the last time what we have actually uh, disable it uh, we will be uh, enabling it again that means this uh, this uh, instruction would be again uh, enable so now microcontroller will entertain another uh, any other interrupt as well right so let's say, let's suppose consider another case. If sensor two senses someone, uh, and it sends low to high transition to RB one, that means interrupt one will receive an interrupt. So microcontroller will be interrupted. What will happen? It will again uh, disable first of all this GIE bit, and then will go to the originate zero eight hacks. First, it will check whether this into zero IF is one or not. If it is not if it is zero that means it uh, interrupt zero is not interrupted then it will skip this instruction it will go to this next instruction which in which we are it, it, it is testing interrupt one if that means we are testing now interrupt one flag if it is one which should be one because we are we are receiving interrupt from interrupt one so we will be having this condition to be false and then we will switch to this go to isr interrupt one and what is happening in interrupt uh, interrupt one uh, ISR interrupt one, ISR interrupt one. We are actually uh, just uh, turning on the LED of uh, LED two, which is connected to RC two, right? And then we are again rat using rat five, which means we are returning to the main code, but also disabling the uh, in enabling again the GIE bit, right? So that's how this program is working. Okay, in this program, one can say there is a deficiency. If sensor one sends some senses something, LED one will be grown. As if sensor two sends something, LED two will be grown. But where is the reset button? There must be some reset button. So we can actually modify this program. How we can use another sensor, right? Let let me uh, let me say that for example, uh, there is another pin which is RB one, RB two, right? RB two, which is connected to a switch, right? So uh, that switch can actually produce uh, low to high transition. We can actually use a push button. We have already seen in Proteus, we can use the push button here, which will send a low to high transition. And that will be served as our interrupt two. Remember, we have three different hardware interrupts. So interrupt zero and interrupt one are already used. So I am using the third interrupt, which is interrupt two. 
so uh, that switch is connected to interrupt zero okay let me write a statement so that uh, it will be clear to you so what we are doing i have written the co uh, the statement use switch on interrupt two so that means we are using interrupt two uh, and, and we are using a switch on interrupt two which will produce low to high transition on interrupt two so what will do what it will do this switch will reset the status of sensor system that means if two leds are glowing and uh, someone who was monitoring this proximity sensor system has already taken the appropriate action so these two leds should be again turned off so that if someone again being sensed on those areas it will again uh, system will again glow the leds so what it will do this switch will actually reset these two leds this this means this led should be turned on so what we what the what will be the effect on the code let me write the code okay now we are actually uh, uh, enable the third bit bsf interrupt control 3 and third interrupt is interrupt 2 so we are enabling its interrupt 2 ie okay one thing it will be included okay next thing we will also include this uh, uh, thing in, in our vector table that means you will write here bit test file the third check right bit test file escape if clear interrupt control 3 comma interrupt to if right and we will go to its special respective isr if it is one right so interrupt two okay now i'm going to create another uh, interrupt isr isr interrupt two okay let me correct it isr interrupt two okay let me shift it bit uh, upward so that it adjusted itself okay we are testing the interrupt 2 and now since we are writing the service routine for interrupt 2 that means we will just clear these two leds so what it what we will do we will simply bit set file interrupt sorry port c comma 1 and bit uh, bit clear file port c comma 2 that means both leds which were glown will be turned off right and then we will again write file so this is the code that we have to modify right so now Uh, whenever sensor one sends senses something, it LED one will be glowing. If sensor two senses something, LED two will be glowing. And if at some time uh, you want to reset the system, you need to just press the switch which is connected to interrupt two or RB two, and it will uh, reset the system. Right? I hope you have understand this complete example of interrupt external hardware interrupt programming. Okay, that's it from this lecture. Is still if you have any confusion and question you can post them in comment section thank you so much for listening